So I'm Ollie Bown. I'm co-director of the Interactive Media Lab at UNSW in Sydney, Australia. Our research into multi-speaker and multi-light systems is really predicated on the on the existence of these kinds of devices. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero, behaves just like a real computer, but it's uh, very low cost. So we can buy lots of these um, and put them in arrays. And the systems we're we're building are communicating over networks. Uh, so we produced an example of uh, distributed sound and light sculpture at the Kasuda Powerhouse in 2020, which was conceived as an abstract musical composition, basically bringing music to the space and animating the space as much as we're animating the content of the music. So the music is spatialized. So the mind at work has various themes of rhythmic interplay between parts of the sculpture. It's like you might imagine you have in a forest where you can hear trees creaking and birds singing and so on. Um, lots of point sources of sound in a distributed way and this is well known to be a, be a calming acoustic experience. My name is Kurt Mikulajic and I'm a PhD student at the University of Technology Sydney and my research is into how Internet of Things technology can be used in installation art and creative projects. So the way we're thinking about using Happy Brackets in live music performance is to think of it as a giant synthesizer. So a musician can use the synthesizer to play sounds but also position them and also control lights. And it feels just like a normal synthesizer but they've got that spatial control over an installation but um, here we're just using sine waves to be able to sort of modulate colors across the structure so there's a there's all these different sort of sine waves that are being multiplied together but I guess yeah distributed media is sort of the the main outcome 